Sweet Drum Butt, and you're watching me on MissSalady.com. So you just read a passage of Drama Queen. What did you personally think of the book? Were you shocked that she wrote it? I haven't finished reading it. I'm in the process of reading it. But I think it's a very brave book. Because uh, I think, you know, to put your life out there for people to laugh at. Yeah. It's, uh, it's chapters. It's, uh, it's a lot of cuts. You know, you, you might you might have a very serious, pondering, brooding kind of take on your life, but, but allowing your life to be you know, an object of, of you. And honestly, I mean, as people who cover Bollywood, I thought that a book like this, people would be all up in arms and freak out and get upset about it. How, what do you think the reaction in the industry would be for a book like this? I, I don't think she's really stepping on any toes. I think at the end of the day, if she's making fun of someone, it's of herself. You know, she's not really putting anyone in a bad light. What she's trying to say is that every point in my life, I've made a fool of myself. You know, and that really... That's and wh when one reads a book like that, you know, you have no choice but to ask it to go ahead with even your name because you know, it's such a sporting book. As a filmmaker, do you think there's a, a, a Bollywood a heroine or a character in there? And who would play it if not herself? I don't think we have a heroine who's going to be so uh, old as to play something like that. This, this, this film could be, uh, you know, Bridget Jones' diary. I think it's a Bridget Jones' diary waiting to be made. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Hi, you're watching MissManly.com. So, Nagesh, you're obviously one of the starring people in this book. How did you feel when she <laughs> called you and said, Guess what? I've written this book. How do you feel about using your real name? Uh, Suchitra being Suchitra just called me and said that I've written this book and you feature in it. I'm going to send you the part, the chapter that you know you, you feature in and why don't you take a read and let me know if it's okay. So I read it and there was nothing offensive. It was actually kind of funny. Uh, so I said, okay, but now listening to what happened between her and Ramo, I'm like in shock. Mine was truly the ninth. It's a good thing that I didn't respond, so she really didn't have much to write about. Sure. But do you think Bollywood is ready to hear this about themselves? Are, are, are the people in the book ready to laugh at themselves? I, I think so. I think so. Uh, the fact that all of us just agree without uh, even reacting, I think it shows that we've all come along. Actually, I've been there, but the others have come along. So does this sort of inspire you to tell your story at some point? No, I'm way too private for that. I, I, I don't enjoy uh, sharing much in the public space other than what little I want. Great. And what are you up to next? When are we going to see a movie next? Well, my new movie, Lakshmi, uh, should come out Jan 17th. And it's something I'm very, very pleased about. Something which is very personal. It's a cause I believe in. So. Great. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Sushitra Krishnamurti and you're watching MissMalini.com. So first up, congratulations on this book. It's Thank bold you. and it's brilliant and I can't believe... So first of all, tell everyone, is it all true? All true. Oh, there's some fiction in it, like uh, the part where I tell Amma I've given up my bad habits. That's the only fiction. <laughs> so what? how come you were brave enough to write this? Were you at any point scared that if I write this book, someone is going to freak out? Um, I think that uh, if you give in to that, uh, then you're not going to be able to write it. I think I wrote it. It's, it's, a, it's a state of mind book. So you write it as it comes, and then you hope for the best. And in, I mean, as I was reading the book, I felt like you were really brutal with your own character. Like you sort of showed all your phobias and all your fears. And, and do you think that people are ready to hear that? Or how did it feel to tell the world how, what, what well, you Well, I was doing? ready to tell it, so I told it. Now, if uh, people are not ready to hear it, then I don't know. And what was the what part of the book do you think was the most the one moment where you're like oh I'm gonna put that in but <laughs> risky? I didn't think that of uh, of any part. In fact, I showed it to all the characters, you know. And I said if, because you know sometimes when we are writing, the way we see another character, the way I might write a character may seem okay to me, but may seem offensive to them. So I actually showed it to all of them. And uh, I said if something is, uh, is a miss, uh, you know, if you think something is wrong or you think a line or a word is wrong, then I take it off. And a quick message to all your fans who are going to read this book and all your Twitter fans. What, what is this? Who is this book for? It's for everyone. It's for everyone um, above 18, above 16, 15. <laughs> 
and knowing that everything that you've been through in Bollywood and your experience, what would you say to the young girl who's aspiring Bollywood career? Would you tell her go for it? Go for it. Thanks so much. Hi, this is Arif Zakaria and I'm watching MissMalini.com. So I believe you're uh, sort of a, a college friend of Sichitra, so you've seen her all through all these years. What did you think when you heard she's writing this book? Uh, this is in fact a third book, so I wasn't surprised in that sense. She's had, uh, she, she's always had a literary bent of mine. And we used to act in plays and we did television together. So I think it's an extension of her artistic and literary talents which she possessed since the last 25 years. That's the, the, the tenure I know her, essentially. Yeah. But so I'm not really surprised, uh, but uh, what surprised and amused me was the content of this book and how she's able to uh, take all her experiences and weave that into a fantastic, uh, engaging, engrossing, uh, Bhelpuri sort of story, which is very, very her and her personality. So what, what part did you find? Did you did you find any part of the book shocking? And, and which one was it, if there was? I found the Ram Gopal Verma story very shocking. <laughs> Too hard to believe. In fact, I kept asking her whether it's true or whether you've made this up or whether it's fiction. But as she said right now also, it's she's actually recreated what, what essentially happened. So that was for me the most shocking part, really. And uh, the other parts, her dynamics with her mother, her parents, I kind of know that a little bit because I know the family since a long time. Her equation with her daughter. So all that was very pleasant to read but I kind of know that a little so it's good it's, it's part it's most uh, sort of, uh, to the extent 90% fact and 10% would be the way she's constructed the whole plot around her life characters and you're in the industry yourself so is it as scary for guys as it is for girls who are sort of struggling to make it it is it's a brutal business it's a tough business and I would urge people who enter the business unless they don't have a driving passion you really won't survive so you really need to wake up in the morning and have a have a great uh, strong fire in your belly that this is what you want to do. That's how you should go ahead. So we've seen Sichita describe herself in the book since you know her growing up. How would you, is there something about her that we don't know or that doesn't come across yet in the book? See, her life is essentially on display. She's a multi-talented woman, I think. She's an artist, the paintings around, the book, the social. She's a great uh, she's a great host. We've had great uh, sessions at her house. Uh, on various occasions, birthdays, Diwali, and you name a festival, we are there, and we have great uh, fun at the house. She's a great host too, and a candle maker. That is one. Well, not hidden anymore, but now she makes candles professionally. But I think she's a great host and a great uh, raconteur. Great. Thanks.